I put this short video together to help you get reading some e-publications or e-books on your uh, Macintosh computer. So if you've ordered a book like this uh, from uh, Cheryl, uh, what ha will happen is when you've finished ordering it, you'll see this uh, page will come up with a link. Uh, don't worry if you're not ready to download it right at that point. Uh, you don't need to. Uh, you'll also see receive an email with detailed directions on how to do that, how to download it, etc. Remember, ebooks are not the same as PDFs. Uh, you do need e-reader software uh, to get them. So let's first of all click on the link here uh, to download the book, and let's get that underway while it's running. And you'll see the same page will come up again. Uh, so that's why I say you don't really have to worry if you didn't have it originally. And it will uh, move directly into your uh, download uh, area. While that's downloading, if you've never read an ebook before on your computer, you'll need uh, some software to do that. And we've recommended a couple of different readers here. One is Adobe Digital Editions. That's not the same as Adobe PDF Reader. So that is different software. And the other one is, uh, is Calibre. So what I'll do here is I'll just download uh, uh, Calibre. And you'll see the screen will come up here when I click on it. And it says download it. Now, of course, it depends on the type of computer I'm using. In this case, I'm using an Apple Macintosh. So I'll click on the Apple there. And uh, what that will do is bring up the download menu. And uh, it will go down into my download area here. And we just wait for that to finish. Now that that's downloaded, what we can do is we can click on it and it will open up the DMG file. We don't really need to worry about what that is, but uh, it does open that up. And you can see here uh, the applications uh, that it is. So what we can do is we can actually run that directly, or if we want, uh, we can move it over into the, uh, into the applications folder. Uh, one or the other, and you can see it's now copying into the uh, into the applications folder directly. And from there, I can go into my uh, applications, and I can uh, click on uh, and Calibre directly. And uh, what it'll do is it'll make sure we want to open it because of course it needs to be uh, be careful on that side and it'll start with the uh, with the quick start guide on that now what I can do on here is uh, go into my downloads and you can see here I've already downloaded the book so what I can do is I can just simply uh, pull that directly into uh, Caliber, and what it will do is it'll add it into uh, my books directly, and I can click on it. And uh, what it'll do is it'll bring up the ebook, and I can uh, start reading it uh, directly. I can use the arrows to change the pages. Uh, if I want, I can just uh, resize it as you can with uh, with most books. And if I want, I can go to uh, directly uh, to a page or to a chapter. So it's pretty simple to use uh, different software packages. And again, as a reminder, they're not PDFs. You do need to have ebook uh, readers software on your Mac.